everyone, this is Temping Songbird, and I'm here to give you a super, super quick tip. So I discovered this as I was shopping at a local home, uh, home goods store, not home goods itself, but a home goods store. Um, I believe I was in HomeSense, and in HomeSense, I found something that I said, this is going to be a game changer for helping me keep my um, stamp pads in place while I am trying to stamp or blend. Now, there are a lot of different silicone um, mats and different shapes out there from different stamp companies that help hold your stamp pad in place. But I found a kitchen item that would help. So this is a Farberware sponge holder. It's silicone. It's got ridges, and it's really used for exactly what it says, to hold your sponges. I actually have two of these uh, in my house. So I have one in my kitchen, which holds my soap and the sponge, and then I have one in the bathroom that holds the hand soap um, there and a lotion. So those items do not move because this is holding them in place. This sits perfectly on top of each sink. Um, or on the side of the sink and nothing moves plus this is waterproof and if anything leaks on here like the soap you can clean it up easily because these are silicone so I figured hey I could use these for my stamp pad so when um, you're trying to grab some see how that happens you'd have to hold it and do that right and I've seen a lot of people have like uh, these plastic holders in the same shape as their stamp pad um, but those things could be a little bit pricey. So, you know, you're here, you're blending, and there you go again. You're going to have to grab your stamp pad. So, this is the perfect solution. It's from Farberware. Like I said, I got it at a home store, and I only paid $2.99. I am not kidding. $2.99. So, you would grab one of these, place it on your desk, on your workspace, Put your stamp pad there and you can fit three distress oxides snug and look they won't move so let's try this again just going to see no movement and i'm able to do my sponging my blending and they just won't move perfect nice and snug i've got all of them here i don't have to worry about them moving anywhere or it going flying across my desk. So these are Distress Oxides. Let's see if any other type of stamp pad will fit. Here's my Hero Intensified Black. This is sort of a basic shape now for a lot of different companies. So let's see, I could place that there. And let's see if another one fits. I don't have another one of these Hero Arts, but I do have my Memento Tuxedo Black. And those both fit there perfectly. So I'm just going to take the top off of this. Then I'm going to grab a sponge. Just grab a little bit of ink. See? No movement. Perfect. <laughs> this is just absolute genius. And for, what did I say? It was $2.99? 3 bucks. It was just 3 bucks. Okay, let's see if any other stamp pads fit here. I've got a Versamark ink pad. Um, I've got a uh, Tim Holtz alcohol ink lift pad. Now this one, you really won't be um, using a sponge, but you would be using um, an acrylic block. I just had an acrylic block. Here it is. So let's see. Well, this one's a little more, it moves a little bit, but still pretty good, I think. And this one I haven't used, so I don't even want to open that one. So I think it works better with, yeah, I think, see this one? For some reason, this one is probably the bottom doesn't have as much grip as this one. But I think it still works. Let's try one more type of ink pad. This is a, a Stamping Up Pumpkin Pie, one of their old 
uh, stamp pads. I have tons of these and they're still very juicy, so I use them. So these guys open up like this. And let's see, do they fit or are they too wide? Let's see. Okay. Well, I think you gotta kind of push that one in there. And let's just grab. Not moving. Cool. It works. Great. So, I don't want to, uh, you know, say don't buy these type of items from stamp companies. You should always support those uh, stamp companies. A lot of them are small uh, family owned companies, and we want to support all of these stamp companies and uh, websites that sell um, all the items that we love and need for our crafting. But some of us just can't afford uh, paying a lot for a silicone mat when you can get something similar if not better i dare to say for just three bucks so these come in a ton of colors i got this mint one because my office accessories are this color and i got a navy blue one i bought a red one for my mom and i think i saw gray also at the stores but i think this is a great solution so that was my quick tip for you today. You can fit three oxide, distress oxide pads here, nice and snug, and they won't move so that you can do all of your stamping or your blending. I think it's a great idea. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next on this channel. And remember, every time that you hit that like button, it lets YouTube know what kind of videos you like and will recommend videos to you similar to this one. It'll also let YouTube know that this video is something that people like to watch, so it would recommend my videos to other people. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.